the way has been even better recently. They've won four of their last five with a one kind of questionable loss in there. It was a they lost a five nothing drubbing to the L.A. Galaxy. But uh, considering their body of work, that's probably just an aberration, don't you think? Yeah. So a golden opportunity for the Toros early. As we said, they need a win to get into the show. There's the kick, and it's a goal! Toros on top! Early on, Rodrigo Lopez delivers for the third straight game, and the Toros on top, one to nothing. What an opportunity for the 34-year-old. But he will send it upfield. And now Luna's able to get turned. He's brought down. Nice sliding tackle there by Lopez. Sorto with a quick pass, trying to get it to Edwards. Edwards, a chance here, and gets the goal! Oh my goodness, the Toros get a late goal here in the first half, and that is a shocker. On their end as well, if they can win, and Phoenix should lose, and they haven't kicked off yet. Uh, Phoenix playing out west tonight. El Paso could claim the number one seed throughout the Western Conference playoffs. Luna, nice through ball, sends it, and it's a goal there for El Paso. It's the new sub who just came on, Luis Herrera, and El Paso is on the board in the early part of the second half. And what we might call a prevent defense, keeping bodies back, but leaving space to operate. And the locomotive just slipped that through, and Luis Herrera finds it at his foot and then finds the back. And they were expecting Solianak to break on that, but he had already started moving his momentum back out toward midfield. And so because of that, just falls right into the teeth of that Toro's defense. Also got a nice give and go inside. Oh, it's a goal by Edwards. Kyle Edwards strikes again. And the Toros establish a two-goal lead. So here's Asokad in the box. Tries to lift it for Igaza. Try to hit her and... Uh, to Flores, but it's knocked away by El Paso. A little bit of, uh, uh, here's Lopez who just came onto the pitch. Stole the ball for a moment. Now Icaza able to get it and shoot, and he scores! How about that? The defensive pressure, and Icaza jumps in there and gives the Toros a 4-1 lead. And he slips out in the lower left side of the net. What a performance from Icaza. Wow, and Icaza has been aggressive all night. It was Lopez who kind of uh, made a nuisance of himself to create that uh, the problem area there in front. You can see it doing the uh, the Toro right there, Icaza. That gets home field advantage coming on. They'll play the four on the other side, at least for the first round of playoff games are concerned. And then you've got this fun little battle developing right here between Rio Grande Valley and United. United New Mexico already picked up a victory, so they're at...